one. Put God first. Put God first in everything you do. Everything that you think you see in me, everything that I've accomplished, everything that you think I have, and I have a few things. Everything that I have is by the grace of God. Understand that. It's a gift. 40 years ago, March 27th, 1975, just 40 years ago, uh, just this past March, I was flunking out of college at a 1.7 grade point average. I hope none of you can relate. <laughs> at a 1.7 grade point average, I was sitting in my mother's beauty shop. They still call it beauty shop? No, they call it Yeah, I was sitting in the beauty parlor. I was sitting in my mother's beauty parlor. And I'm looking in the mirror, and I see behind me this woman under the dryer. And every time she looked up, she, every time I looked up, she was looking at me. She was looking me in the eye. And I didn't know who she was, and I said, she said, somebody give me a pen. Give me a pencil. I have a prophecy. March 27, 1975. She said, boy, you are going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. Now, mind you, I was flunked out of college. I'm thinking about joining the army. I didn't know what I was going to do. And she's telling me I'm going to travel the world and speak to millions of people. Well, I have traveled the world. And I have spoken to millions of people. But that's not the most important thing. She says that I had the most important thing is that what she taught me. of your life and it can be it can be very frightening it, it's a new world out there it's a mean world out there and you only live once so do what you feel passionate about passionate about take chances professionally don't be afraid to fail because they don't like you test nine dots and you had four or five lines with a pencil and they get nine dots without lifting the pencil the only way to do it is to go out
That's all they got. You can't take it with you, with you. And it's not how much you have. It's what you do with what you have. We all have different talents. Some of you will be doctors, some lawyers, some scientists, some educators, some nurses, some teachers. Yeah, okay. <laughs> some preachers. The most selfish thing you can do in this world is help someone else. Why is it selfish? Because the gratification, the goodness that comes to you, the good feeling, the good feeling that I get from helping others, nothing's better than that. Well, one or two things, but nothing's better than that. Not, not the jewelry, not the big house I have, not the cars, but the, the, it's the joy. That's where the joy is in helping others. That's where the success is in helping others. Finally, I pray that you put your slippers way under the bed tonight so that when you wake up in the morning you have to get on your knees to reach them and while, you, and while you're down there say thank you for grace thank you for mercy thank you for understanding thank you for wisdom thank you for parents thank you for love thank you for kindness thank you for humility Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. That's where I, why I am. One of the reasons why I am today. Say thank you in advance for what is already yours. True desire in the heart for anything good is God's proof to you sent beforehand to indicate that it's yours already. I'll say it again. True desire in the heart, that itch that you have, whatever it is you want to do, that thing that you want to do to help others and to, to grow and to make money, that desire, that itch, that's God's proof to you sent beforehand already to indicate that it's yours. And anything you want good, you can have. So claim it. Work hard to get it. When you get it, reach back. Pull someone else up. Each one, teach one. Don't just aspire to make a living. Aspire to make a difference.